Here's a sneak peek of the projects that I'm making today. I'm excited to share them, so let's go ahead and get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. All right, kicking off DIY number one. This is a faux book stack and I always love to put a book stack on my tier trays. You guys, if you watch my channel, you know that. I'm going for the gradient ombre effect. It doesn't necessarily come out that way, but that's the look I'm going for. So I, I painted the top, the lightest shade, and then I'm going around with the lighter shades and gradually kind of blending those colors in, trying to make it, you know, like I said, ombre or like gradient effect, I guess. When I'm, when I'm doing it, I, you know, I'm thinking it's turning out fine, like it's looking like it's blending, but then when you see this next little frame, it looks like the top is yellow, the middle is orange, and the bottom's red, but that's okay. I still love it, and I think it turns out cute. So then I used my Cricut to cut out the words, it's barbecue time, and I just added it to the end of the book stack. Now you could totally use stickers or hand letter. It would turn out just as cute, I promise. So if you don't have a Cricut, don't let that stop you from creating. And then I'm gonna add some gingham check ribbon, some red gingham check. It reminds me of like a picnic tablecloth or something like what you would traditionally see or something like that. So I added that on the end and then I had made a little finger bow and I'll glue that to the top. And this is how it turns out. It is super cute, y'all. Maybe not as gradient as I was hoping for, but it looks super cute on my tear tray, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This video is part of the First Friday Open Challenge playlist. I host this playlist every single month on the First Friday with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. She is an amazing crafter, y'all. You're gonna love her stuff. I've got her channel linked below. But also, we choose a guest host every single month as well. And this month, it is Marla from The Chic Show DIY. You're going to love her stuff too. The playlist and their channels are linked below, so go and check them out. Okay, for DIY number two, I'm taking these little plastic cups. And I'm sorry I don't have the footage to show you what they look like before. But I got them from Dollar Tree. And all I did was spray paint them with Rust-Oleum's chalk ultramat um, spray paint i think it's in the color charcoal which would be appropriate for a barbecue grilling type tiered tray thing anyways so i did that and then i um hot glued a piece of faux leather i got it from hobby lobby i'm sure and then i took a ridiculous amount of time trying to hot glue these little um what are they called not um <laughs> They're not shish kebab things. What are these called? Anyways, I'm trying to hot glue them all together and hold them up and hold them steady. And it's just, it's not working, y'all. It's not working at all. It was just a hot mess express. These are called dowels, y'all. <laughs> or at least that's what I'm going to call them. Anyway, so then I thought, you know what? I'm going to like try to TP it together. You know how like, you make a TP and you wrap the rope around, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, what was I thinking, y'all? That, that, that wasn't going to work either. That was, mm -mm, no. So then I just hot glue it straight to the bottom. Does that hold very well? No, it does not. So I need to think of a different way to do that. But what I'm trying to make is a grill. And you really, this plastic little cup thingy, it would break, I think, if I tried to drill into it. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I should have used E6000. Maybe that would have held better. I'm not really sure. But they're not super sturdy, but they don't need to be. So then I just take some black paint and I paint the legs of this little barbecue grill. And my original idea was I had glued that leather in there. I glued the bottom and then I glued the other half of the leather into the top portion because I was going to make it like one of those egg grill things, you know. And so when I opened up the, I'll show you in just a second, but this is, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm painting the legs. I don't know why I'm showing you this much footage of this, but <laughs> here's me painting the legs. Okay, so here's how it looks. Like, I don't, you know, it doesn't really look like the egg shape, but you kind of get the idea of what it's supposed to be. And again, those legs look wobbly, and yes, they are wobbly. So, you know, maybe use the E6000. So then when I tried to open it up so it'd be like an open grill, it, you know, it fell over. And that's when one of the legs broke off and that's how I know it's wobbly. <laughs> anyway, it still kind of looks like a grill, but now I need to put like a little grate inside of it. Maybe I'll make that next time. 
All right, for DIY number three, this is a little tag shape that I got from Dollar Tree. Almost everything I think I got today from Dollar Tree. So I am painting it this kind of abstract design. I'm placing painter's tape and I'm painting the yellow and this is looking kind of candy cornish, but that's okay. I'm painting yellow and then orange in the middle and I'm going to put red on the bottom. I didn't even try to do the ombre effect y'all because you know, it just wasn't going to work. Then I used my Cricut to cut out this little decal here. And yeah, this is simple, easy peasy. There you go. That's how it turned out. Super cute. But the best part about it is it's actually a reversible sign. So I'll show you that one in just a moment. I found a chef gnome online. And so I printed it out and just kind of enlarged it to the size that I wanted. And I cut out the shape using my um, jigsaw. I think that's what I used. <laughs> yeah, my jigsaw. <laughs> so I'm just painting it white to give it a base coat. And then I'm going to go in with um, some, uh, oh, look, here is the uh, design. I kind of sketched on what I wanted to draw, but you can't really see it. It's kind of hard to see. Anyway, I was just trying to show you what I sketched on. So now I'm going in with gray and just trying to add some dimension, add some, like, so you can kind of tell what it is. And I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm still not that great at painting, but I do really enjoy the process. I do enjoy trying. So then I take a pink color and I'm making the nose with a little sponge brush that I got from Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to blend some colors. I have so many talented friends that are so awesome at painting and I just love watching them paint. Like I could just watch them paint, but I'm not that person yet, <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm practicing. So I'm going in and I'm trying to add some like folds in his chef's hat and I'm trying to add some dimension to his beard. And then I add feet at the end, I think. Do you see me? Yep, I had some little feet at the end. And this is how you turned out. Like, I think it looks okay, but I'm thinking like I should have done, I don't know, it kind of looks, kind of looks like all one color. And you don't see that much difference between his beard. Maybe I should have made his beard like more gray or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is how it turned out. I still think it looks cute though, and I hope you like it too. I debated on whether or not to even put this in here as a DIY, but I'm taking some little popsicle sticks, little craft sticks, and I'm gluing them together. And then I'm trying to put legs on. I'm trying to make a little picnic table, y'all. And in my mind, this was going to turn out like it was going to be way easier to make and it was going to turn out way cuter. That's not what happened, but that's okay. So I'm like, I'm thinking like, how hard is it to make a picnic table? So I finally got it all together and then I took some, this napkin that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm cutting it down to be the picnic table, you know, tablecloth. And so this is how it turned out. I mean, I still think it looks cute, but it, what, you know, in my mind, it was going to turn out a little bit differently, but you get the idea of what it's supposed to be and it goes along with the theme. So there you go. Hopping along to DIY number six. I'm painting this round circle shape probably got it from Dollar Tree and I'm just painting it white because that's going to be my base color for what I'm making next. And then, uh, now that it's done, I'm showing you what I've traced on and can you see it? It's kind of faint, but it's there. Anyway, that's going to give me the like foundation for what I'm going to make in just a second. And then I'm taking some yellow paint and starting that as the bottom layer and I'm adding some orange. I'm going to come in with some red to kind of finish it all out. And then I'm drawing on with a paint pen, some lines, and these are to look like the grill. Like this is the flames are coming through the grill. That's the idea there. And anyway, so I just go around and, you know, make the outline of the grill, dry it off because I want to put this decal on there that says grill master. And it doesn't stand out very well on its own. So then I go back with my paint pen and kind of outline all of the letters so that it pops a little bit more. And this is how it turned out. I think it's super cute, but if you have like OCD or whatever, <laughs> The fact that the grill master is not really lined up with the lines behind it may throw you off a little bit, but hey, it's still super cute. I love how it turned out and I hope you like it too. 
For DIY number seven, I'm taking the reverse of that other little tag that I made earlier. I'm just flipping it over. Oh, I had a little bit of help there. And I am going to do a gradient effect. I'm doing it this time. And so I took yellow, orange, and red, and I'm just kind of blending down and filling in those parts. Now for the little spatula thing, flipper thing in the middle, I'm taking some silver metallic paint and I'm painting in that. I'm like just um, stenciling it in. See, it turned out cute. And then I've got to take out the little pieces, you know, that are left in there. But see, this one actually kind of worked. Okay, y'all, it turned out really pretty super cute if I do say so myself. And I love it. So I hope you love it too. Let me know what you think below. All right, y'all, this is how everything turned out. It's how it looks on my tear tray right now. I still have some other things that I'd like to add to it, but you get the idea that it's about barbecuing. It's about grilling and chilling. And, you know, I think they look pretty cute. Oh, don't forget, there is a playlist linked in the description box below, but also there is a link to my Facebook crafting group. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with Sarah from GGB DIY. And um, we have a lot of fun sharing projects in this, so don't forget, share your projects. Join it. It's all below. The links to the playlist. The links to Marla and Sarah's channels are below, too, so I hope you check it out. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on, on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or on TikTok, I do different things on TikTok, too. So my handle over there, all, all those places, is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye.